Hey, how's it going guys? Destro here from DestroMonies.com and in today's video, I wanted to cover you with you the question of should you lead with your products or your opportunity first? So a big question that usually comes up when you're prospecting is should you lead with your products or opportunity? And the answer really depends on who you're speaking to after you've been able to build up some rapport and understand what it is that they're actually looking for. So today's video will help you understand uh, what questions you should be asking yourself when you're thinking of the question of should you lead with your products or your opportunity so whether you're talking to your prospects about your business when this question pops up into your head should you lead with your products or opportunity the real question that you should be asking yourself is what does your audience actually want so as you start to grow your brand and you'll start to get leads from different platforms so really think about this question, what does your audience really and actually want? Until you actually make a connection with someone and actually either get on the phone with them or fill out some type of uh, online survey, you'll not, you're not gonna be able to discover exactly what it is that they truly want until they tell you. So in your own marketing efforts, what's your goal? Who, are, who is it that you are trying to reach? Um, who does your brand speak to and what problems does your business solve for that particular target market? Who, what is your brand? Who do you serve? These are the type of questions that you should be asking yourself before you ask yourself the question of should you lead with your products or your opportunity first? So if you haven't taken the time to establish your brand or to know who you are, who you, you should be speaking to, I, I'm gonna post a link to my, a previous post that I did on the four simple steps of branding yourself online that can help you to define your brand and help you in this area of knowing who to talk to and who uh, you stand for and who you should be reaching out to. So once you know who you are and who you're speaking to, it makes it easier to be able to determine whether or not you should lead with your products or your opportunity. So getting clarity on your brand Will actually help determine whether or not you should it's a good fit to leave with your product or your opportunity first so for example if you're in the health and wellness niche um, then obviously and you're branding yourself as a health and wellness um, guru or someone who would be able to help assist someone to to either lose weights with their with your products or and then you would probably want to lead with your with your uh, products first but if you are targeting network marketers for example and you want to be able to you know help show them how to generate leads and sales for their business using attraction marketing strategies then you'd probably lead with the opportunity because it'll be a better transition than it'll be better fit for that audience rather than talking about health and wellness products if uh, if that makes sense to you guys so before you dive into the question of should you lead with your products or your opportunity, make sure that you take the time to actually develop your brand and define who you are, who you want to serve, and what are the needs of your particular target audience. So I hope you guys get value from this video. If you guys get value, make sure you uh, drop a comment down below and if you want more tips and information on how to go about building your business online, make sure you hop on my newsletter at destrymonis.com forward slash newsletter and I'll catch you guys in another video.